I was pregnant with Christopher when I was 26. We didn't see a need to have any sort of testing done. I was young and healthy, the baby was healthy. And then when he was a year old, he wasn't walking. And then when he was 15 months, he wasn't walking. And so at 18 months, we started asking questions because he still wasn't walking. We went through the pediatrician, physical therapist, and none of those people brought up carrier screening. It was something that I went and found on my own. I found the Myriad genetic carrier screening. The only thing that I was a carrier of was spinal muscular atrophy, um, which is SMA. One in 40 people are carriers of SMA and don't know it. Um, my husband and I are two of them. It does take both parents being carriers, and then you have a one in four chance of having a baby with SMA. We've hit that one in four twice. When the screening came back, it really helped us develop a plan of action to get him what he needed. We were able to start his treatment a lot faster than we would have had we just waited around for more months to pass. There are multiple families going through the same situation where there could have been early intervention. It is so important for us to offer carrier screening because the outcome of carrier screening, especially like SMA and Ashley's story, that's gonna affect that child for the rest of their life. The screening for these things starts with us. A lot of us rely on our state's newborn screening to diagnose babies at birth, but there's so many things that states aren't screening for, SMA being one of them. You need this care screening to tell you what you can best do to help your child live the fullest life that they can. He's gone from learning to stand in a walker to walking with crutches and taking independent steps. I tell Emily all the time that her big brother is her protector and he's the reason she's walking. We had the carrier screening done, and so we could make a plan. She was tested at three days old, diagnosed at five days old, and treated at five and a half weeks old. And because of that, she's living a typical life. The story could have been very different. Carrier screening empowers you to make the right decisions. There needs to be more education about how vital it is and what the next steps are. Not only are you making a decision for yourself right now, but you're making a decision for the next 80, 90, 100 years to create a better life for you and your baby.